definitely excited about this. I'm sure Arnaldo is ready for that guillotine. I think it's going to come down to that. Arnaldo's only shot Let's with his skin away from that guillotine. Josh and Arnaldo. First of five rounds. Josh so far has not been in the ring for more than a minute, 30 seconds. Arnaldo had his head way back there. I don't know if you noticed, brother. See how far back his head is? It's like he's not leaning in at all. Brother, do you notice how tall Arnaldo is standing? He's it's like he's standing like his, his neck is way back there. It's like maybe he's copying Edwin when you're fighting. Either that Don't or he's terrified of Josh Hanker's guillotine. He's like, I'm not leaning in at all. Well, he's really dangerous. He's so, he, he told us um, that he's been studying all of his opponents, so he's there for a You purpose. have to. I advise all competitors, if you're not doing your homework on the internet, you're not a good Three, player. two, one. You can pull guard now without being punished. Yeah, but even, you know, if Arnaldo pulls Here we, guard, go. we go. He's still... He, Josh is super dangerous that guillotine still. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if you know if if, if 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 Josh can pass, but he can definitely leap for that guillotine. Yeah, whatever you do, hide your neck. No, no, no. By the way, if you guys can hear that the, 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 the crowd there, that's uh, the Novo Union crowd celebrating the win with Marcio Andre. The Brazilian crowd, that's something to them, right? There's this energy to them, yes. Every time there's a big show in MMA I, I, go to, I go to soccer games when I was a kid. I didn't even care about the game. I just about the crowd. It's different. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's I just, no it's way all about in the, the world. Crowd. Yeah, the energy. We need to bring ACB here more often. And I think the crowds want that too. Arnaldo playing the bottom game there. Josh, the black and blue rash guard. Looking for that knee slice. Arnaldo just keeping that range safe. See Josh trying to move into that half guard. That's the only plot that he did on Claudio. Yep. And that's his danger position. Right that's his move. That's your favorite position, that's right? Oh, oh, nice, Josh. Good. Super sharp on it. Huh? He has such a short arm. You see where that arm was, though? Huh? What, what was Josh's arm? Did you see it? He just it was on the ground. Yes. Yeah, see, yeah. you can't do that. And uh, this is one of your favorite techniques, right? Yeah, I. I'm watching I your as career, much as I used to, but like I used, I used to do that a lot, a lot. Like yes, was, and you the do point a where, plata yeah, from I would the... let people underhook me just so yeah. I can go for it. Yeah. It's just Roger's hard to do that, huh? Dude, I did it to Roger, and he still passed. It's crazy. <laughs> he passed. I actually, there's a picture of me. He's in side control, and I have the one plot. It's the weirdest it's thing. Crazy. Yeah. No, no, yeah, he's he's a different animal, man, for sure. Uh, I think that to call that, I think that the good description is like a like a wet blanket. That's what it feels like. Yeah, it's it like a big, heavy, <laughs> wet blanket. You know? Yeah, people say the blanket, but the wet one sounds the, the wet like blanket. It. Yeah. I remember when Tidede fought him. Tidede, like I asked him, Tidede, what, what what was it like? You know, and Tidede goes, "I miss some. The only thing I can move with my eyeballs. <laughs> That's about it." <laughs> well, That's a good way yeah. to put it. Being there, a few many times. Josh there, top looking for, you know he's just waiting for Arnaldo to dig that head in, but Arnaldo's keeping a good range with that knee, he doesn't want to give the head. That's where Arnaldo's most dangerous, man, playing that loose open guard, fishing for the legs, fishing for the omoplata. Well, but notice he's not sitting up too, I don't know if you notice, he's staying flat on his back, of course. Can you see now, it's for the first time that actually Josh has been fighting for more than three minutes. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, this is this is far more this this round than he has the previous two fights combined. Correct. But you know you can see Arnaldo really changed. I mean he did something different than he was doing. He's not leading with the head. He's keeping his range. He's really respecting Josh's uh, weapon, which is you know, probably his best weapon is the guillotine. And. Um, He's still being aggressive, like he's still managing to attack while staying safe, and that's the right strategy. That's exactly, exactly. what I do. And that's why it shows one of the most important basics in jiu-jitsu, which is if you can foresee what's coming and you protect that, it's really hard to get caught. 
Correct. And if you can do that in many different areas, you know, that's like, when it I, and, and I was just talking about a second ago, but like people really got to start doing their homework and knowing their opponent. It drives me nuts when people go to a tournament, right? Have no idea what they're up against. Imagine an army going to war. You have no idea who your enemy is. You have no idea what weapons what they, they use, decide. what their strategy is, what their history is, what the terrain is. You just go out there and go, let's see what happens. <laughs> Congratulations, right. you're an amateur. <laughs> you know, like it, it, I, I really respect people that take the time to do their homework and study their opponents because that's the professional approach to fighting. Second round, 40 seconds up until the first minute of the no guard pole. And Josh is seeking for that guillotine still. I think Arnaldo has the right game plan. The thing is, well, Arnaldo is much taller than, 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 yeah. uh, than Josh, so that, that, that makes it harder. You know, yeah, to but reach. he's just not, he'll, he'll do anything except lead with that head. Uh, Josh is going to have to do something else to create to create the situation or the use that posture to maybe a take exactly yeah because he's overdoing his posture at this point so yeah, that's correct a low double would, would, would do the trick that's what i usually say you know when you are scared too much about one situation you always open some other doubles. and in one minute straight away to the ground and straight away to the omoplata grips Arada has a very offensive close guard huh yeah i, I mean that omoplata on uh, patrick galja was Crazy good. Huh? Yeah. I thought he was gonna get out there for a second, but no. -uh. He had him. His leg got caught. So yeah, I think he time. reached for the far leg with his hands too, which is hard to do. But you can see that's uh, Arnaldo's move. Very comfortable there. I think Josh. Josh's way to victory here is gonna be to forget about the guillotine for a second, really press the pass, force on Arnaldo to turtle up or go to his knees. Or, you know, put enough pressure on the guard to get Arnaldo to forget about the neck for a second and he'll be able to, to leap on it. Because right now, Arnaldo is just playing too safe. And exactly what I was going to say. And the other thing is, the other way for, in the other case, for Arnaldo to be able to win, he needs to lose that fear a little bit more about the guillotine because that's yeah. shut him down to do anything else. Yeah. He's too cautious. Yeah, but like, sometimes you can see Josh, you know, he's not, you can see he's frustrated too. Like, he's trying to move forward. He's trying to, and, you know, do his thing, and Arnaldo's just giving him absolutely nothing to work with. See, that knee shield right there is a nightmare. Yeah, it's, you know, when, I, when I do Q&A in seminars, I always like the last hour of the seminar to have, like, a Q&A, right? And the most common question I get, how to deal with that knee. That is the number one question I get. It's very hard yeah. to do. It's, it's, I mean, it's something white belts, from white to black people use, and it, it is... It's a, you know, it's a pain in the butt. It's not easy to get rid of. Um, my, 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 my best advice is always like not let people get there in the first place and try to pre, you know, prevent, pre, uh, pre, uh, prevent that need from getting on your hip in the first place. And make him move, not playing the You see, uh, Josh did it now. See, so he got his left arm on the inside? No, uh -huh. or not at the last one. But Norm, if I come in with that left arm, that stops your left leg from going on my hip. You usually make them play the, the place that they, want, uh, they don't like to be. Yeah. Arnaldo's playing very defensive from the Z guard, and it's very hard to pass when you're defensive that way, yeah. unless if you're much heavier than your opponent. Yeah, like it's, it's, like I said, it is a defensive guard. I don't, like whenever I'm there, I even when I have a hard time passing, I never feel in danger, but it's still very difficult to get around it. Minute 20 seconds left in round two. Pretty much the same as a round one, yeah? yeah. I think that all rounds will be similar. I don't think Arnaldo's going to switch strategies. I don't think Jared Josh may, might be saving his energy. Uh, and maybe, you know, really switching gears towards the fourth, fifth round, maybe. I think Josh is being a little bit more imposing. Yeah. And then Arnaldo is, is playing a little bit on the safe, but went from the close guard. When it goes to from an open guard, sorry. When it goes to the close guard, then Arnaud is a little bit more you know, offensive. You know? I can see him reaching for that guillotine. 
Ah, uh, he's getting close. Arnaldo's giving look at how Paul like push pulls his neck Four. back. But see, that's Josh's best route there. He's really forced to pass if Arnaldo doesn't be, you know, if he's just so worried about the neck, you gotta force something else. Exactly. Every time you close some door completely, you always open someone else. He's have a good position that he's gonna pass. He has the hips, he has the hips. In 20 seconds, he's got the pass. Got to get that half guard. That Got wasn't a pass. Josh, that's the position he wanted. And the guillotine oh, is on. Ten seconds. Is he gonna get it? Nine, eight. Escaped. Nice in the back. Work, both guys. Four, three, two, one. That's well Excellent. played. Both fighters. Both what them. an exchange. Yeah, but you see when Josh started going for the pass, the neck opened up. Exactly what we were talking about. More wrestling. Ah, that, that was it. See, that's, I think that's Josh's best bet right there. He's trying to hit that takedown within that minute. I'm not guess about what? I'm not going to kill the team and then make him back up. Yeah. Playing the same game. That's how important to have a submission as a threat. You always get you back on your feet. Literally on that spot. Arnaldo with the guard pull. Arnaldo, é seu dia, brother. Se concentre. Vamos espetar a perna nele, Arnaldo. Vamos espetar a perna nele, Arnaldo. Arnaldo, vamos espetar a perna nele. Vai estar embaixo dele, Arnaldinho. Vamos espetar a perna nele, brother. Pega o pé! Josh there with the pass, looking for that guillotine again. Man, he is a killer in that position. He finally got to it. Arnaldo could be in trouble here. Arnaldo's got to stay flat on his back because he switched to the north-south. So, brother, it's exactly what we've been talking about all evening. The Dars, the guillotine, the north-south, they all work together. You, get, you just wrap that head, connect the hands, wrap that chin, you know, and, and Josh is like a machine gun there. Pass in the mount. But you he know got what? two points. I see Arnaldo could have gone with side, but he's so Arnaldo. respectful of the guillotine. He's going to go for the arm triangle. That seems like a really strong the arm triangle. is going to reach that. He has two and a half minutes to work that out. And he's strong on that position. Really strong. I, you know, Arnaldo, Arnaldo's not in a good spot right now. 9-0 um, to Josh. Two and a half minutes to go. And they mount on a high elbow. Wow. Josh has shown a very good improvement last year. Skin in it. You know, like, I think wrestlers that take the time to learn jiu-jitsu, not just learn how to get out of a triangle, but actually learn jiu-jitsu, turn out to be some of the best grapplers out there. Because they have such great there. fundamentals. They have the takedown aspect, obviously. Great balance, great work ethic. But not many of them take the time to actually learn how to submit people. Josh is one of those that took the time to learn them. And look at him now. So the mount to the knee on belly, wouldn't that be two points? Should be. Not you're not, you're not, uh, but you know, but jiu are complicated, bro. You can be complicated, but that, that's <laughs> like so many referee courses, and it's so I think hard to keep if you track as long as switch positions, yeah. it's like if you regress, you get, that's neck. the point, right? It's the neck points. Oh. But. <laughs> it's painful. Yeah. There's, a, there's a sub there. You can connect the hands. You know what I'm exactly. talking about? Yeah. Like a uh, cyborg, does, cyborg it. Yeah. does it really well. By the way, man, my um, just cyborg. If, I don't know if you can 
watch that. I don't know what's the situation so far. We are busy here working, but he's in Florida, Miami, and he stayed there. I hope everything is fine with you guys in Florida. I need to catch up on the news, and um, I just wish all you guys had, had, had good uh, and be safe. Well said, bro. I feel the same way. Forty-five seconds in the third round. Josh up by nine, which means this is a 10-8 round. Correct. Not good for Arnaldo. He's really got to do something. And Josh still the aggressor. He's looking really. I think he's figured really out good. Arnaldo's guard at this point. Segura now. Respira now. Segura. And Arnaldo feels a little bit tired right now. Yeah. It was a lot of pressure. It was oh, a lot of absolutely, pressure. Absolutely, man. Like Josh, like you can see. And he like came back. On top. He came back from the ashes, really, because he was under the mound with the arm. In, uh, uh, pummeled high up. Yeah, he, he had a decision to make. Risk yeah. the guillotine or give him out. You know, exactly. and I think he did the right thing. But the mound that he ended up with was a really bad situation. Yeah. And he managed to recover from that, so it yeah. wasted a lot of energy. But he didn't give you nothing. He fought it the way back. I don't know if that minute was enough for him to recover that. Yes. And here we go. Josh already put in pressure. Round four. Arnaldo hanging on his head there. I wonder if he's trying to suck Josh into a bad shot. Or maybe try to go for the guilty himself. Josh with good posture there. Good wrestling. Josh kind of you know, a little more aggressive this time. Arnold's got 10 seconds before he pulls guard. He just looked at the clock. I think Josh has got to go for a takedown right about now. Before Arnold pulls guard. Three, two, one. He can pull guard. Very good. On the dot. On the dot. Even Marcio been like yeah. flawless on that. Like, I don't want to stay standing an extra second if I don't have to. It's a good pressure. Oh, my God. Oh, he passed again. See, I was just sucking. Let it glue. Somewhere around, like, round two or three, Josh figured Ar Arnaldo's guard. And mount again. Mount again. Let's see if that would be a... Uh, I'm going to find really difficult if he can manage to get that. But this time, I think Josh is really going to go for the kill. I don't think Josh wants to wait another round. Yeah, it's too... His performance tonight has been flawless, man. A lot People of pressure. People have scored a point on him. Nothing. Like, not a point. You know, Sharp. first two uh, 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 matches, like total of three minutes in there. Tight, going really for tight. that armbar really now. Nice. What a performance by Josh! Man, he's so tight. Yeah, Arnaldo's got to do something, man. He's really got to. He's gonna have to get to his side. Maybe risk giving that neck away like, at I'm this trying, point. I don't know, maybe I don't know. That's the arm, he's he's trying to go for the arm trail. Josh's mount seems legit, man. Look at that. He's. I'd hate, to be, I'd hate to be Arnaldo right now, man. Tough spot to be in. Good recall by Arnaldo. But see, but that it's, took it's a already, lot of energy. It's already a 10-8 round. Look at that. that. Arnaldo's going to have to get more aggressive with that guard. Yes. such a big pressure. See, that's what Josh shouldn't be looking to do, man. You just kind of feed in that almost plot on Arnaldo. That's his game. I would not be taking those chances. Like, good butterfly sweep attempt by Arnaldo. Yes, that's, that Josh is better off just exactly disengaging. It might be that Arnaldo's going to have to stand up with Josh and just take his chances. Because he hasn't been even, like, I mean, maybe one sweep attempt, like one more plot attempt so far. Again, the same yeah, pressure same pass. pass. Yeah. He missed a little bit. The guy was good, well defended by Barnaldo. Man, that's when the time, like, the leg goes. It's so hard to act. You know, and Josh is not stopping. He's relentless. Like, he's applying, like, lock, shoulder, and neck control. On a flat, Arnaldo um, down to try to do the knee slice pass. Or the guillotine. Vai, 
Good turn by Arnaldo. Nice. Yes. Trying to go down. Inverted guard there. Yeah, Arnaldo's got to come up, follow through. Oh, that's, get it. See, that's oh my it's God. So, he's it's so big. dangerous. Yes. And, and, and it really. There we go. Because he's limited as to what he can and can't oh, do. Oh, yeah. Is it got it? Oh, more plata there. Might have Oh, my it. God. My new pop down. Yeah. I think the, I think Josh Arnaldo's in trouble there. Josh is man. 55 seconds. I really seconds. like that about him. Once he gets, he's, 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 he's got his eyes on something. He's going to go for the oh, plata. Oh, he's oh, a top. He tap. He's a top. Wow. What a performance by Josh Hinger. And now, ladies and gentlemen, winner by Gogo -Go Plata and the ACB JJ Nogi middleweight champion of the world, Josh Heath.